in just a moment. So Callan actually with a slightly higher average of a 93. They shared 10 maximums between them. A 1-2-1 one, one checkout from Peter and he was a very healthy 56% on the doubles. And Mark Webster up here watching along with me and uh, didn't quite have the high octane feel to that match, did it? That perhaps some of the others have had today. No, it was just a professional job from Peter Wright. He finished really well in that match. Uh, Callan will, will be disappointed that he had the darts there to get it level. He didn't make them count, but uh, Peter Wright still not clicking into gear. Not everything's coming together. The scoring wasn't there, but the finishing was. But the main thing is, he's in the draw for the next round. Yeah, I mean, how do you think he will reflect, Peter? It's just a case of getting through to the next round and hoping you you find your top form at some stage. Yeah, well, he's quite patient with stuff. He, uh, he may change his darts again in terms of that, but... It, look, it's, Surely not. It, it, <laughs> uh, it's job done, isn't it? But Peter Wright's still not clicking, is he? He's still no points in the Premier League. So he wants a big tournament here, and he's still going through the rounds. Um, he did well that last night to get through against Stephen Bunting. He's done a good job here, but he's going to have to play better if he's going to challenge on us on, on, on the final day. Yeah, and Callan is 24 years of age, ranked... Um, up there in the world as well and how do you see him in terms of his future because we've had Chris Mason on here many times talking about him as being a real talent one to watch in the future do you see him as being time he's regressed slightly a couple of years ago the world championship he when Peter Wright won it in fact you can argue Callan came the closest to beating him but since then he hasn't really kicked on he's still a steady player but he, he, he wants to hit those top levels we've seen what he can do Hasn't done it the past 12 months. He'll be disappointed that he hasn't forced a decider there. He had the darts and uh, just didn't make it count. He's still got a lot of work to work on Callum, but he's got a lot of time. Uh, just got to be patient with it, but he'll be disappointed. Who's impressed you most out of all the players that you've seen here in terms of somebody you really think could go all the way tomorrow night? Luke Humphreys, I, I was really impressed with him because he's, he's had heartbreak. We talked about his admission from the Premier League. It hurt him. But you've just got to dust yourself down, you've got to perform. He had a tough draw last night, and Damon Hetter did a job there, an even tougher draw today, the world number one and world champion, but dealt with it really well. And it just shows he's dusted himself down, he's forgetting about it, and he just wants to put himself in the, in the position to keep winning titles. He was a runner-up here two years ago, he's looking to go one better. OK, well, the crowd here are getting very animated and they are very much looking forward to the draw, which will see five Englishmen, two Welshmen, two Scotsmen, a couple of Dutchmen, a Northern Irishman, a Belgian, an Irishman, a German and a Czech player in that last 16. We still have six of the world's top ten. We still have four UK Open champions remaining. But who will draw who? Chris and Alan have filed their nails and John will do the honours. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's the live draw for the last 16 of the Kazoo UK Open, which is in the very capable hands of Chris Mason and Alan Warren a little, all part of our ITV commentary team. So let's get it underway then. It's down to you, Alan. Take it away. Number 12, that's Michael Van Gerwen. We'll play number six. Luke Humphreys. Number 16, that's Peter Wright. He will play number four, Richie Burnett. Number 13, Johnny Clayton. And he takes on number one, Jeffrey De Swam. Sorry, number seven, Martin Schindler. Number one, Jeffrey De Swan will take on number 14, that's Rob Cross. Number five, Gary Anderson. He will play number 15, Dimitri Vandenberg. Number 11, that's Brendan Dolan. He takes on number eight, Andrew Gilding. Number two, that's William O'Connor. He takes on number three, Adam Gaflas. Number 10, that's Nathan Aspinall. He takes on number nine, Joe Culler. That concludes the draw for the last 16 of the Kazoo UK Open.
Okay guys, so tune in tonight if you want to watch that live action. Uh, it'll be on the YouTube channel, The Darts Channel 1. So yeah, make sure you tune in. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like and share. So that's the draw for this evening's action. And the stream will start at 18.55 UK time. So tune in and we'll see you all for this evening's action.